Limited Purpose Clearing Corporation, National Panjayat Awards, City Nature Challenge, Marketing and Logistics Development for the Promotion of Tribal Products, T Mosquito Bug, Food Safety and Compliance System, ISRO's PSLV C55 successfully places two Singaporean satellites into orbit. Health Ministry to organize Asia-specific leaders' conclave on malaria elimination. India registers 12,193 new cases of COVID-19. Recovery rate stands at 98.66%. Recently, the Securities and Exchange Board of India put in place a dispute resolution mechanism for limited purpose clearing corporation to settle disputes and claims arising out of transactions cleared by it. It is an entity established to undertake the activities of clearing and settlement of repo transactions. The mechanism will be used to settle disputes between clearing members, contention between the clearing members and their clients. The disputes arising between clearing members of LPCZ will be settled by conciliation and or by an arbitration panel consisting of three clearing members other than the clearing members who are the party to the dispute. The decision of arbitration panel would be final and binding on the parties. In case a clearing member of LPCZ is not satisfied, then disputes would be resolved under the procedures laid down in the Payment and Settlement Systems Act 2007. The President of India recently presented the National Panjayat Awards and inaugurated the National Conference on Incentivization of Panjayats in New Delhi. The Union Ministry of Panjayat Raj celebrating National Panjayat Awards week from 17th to 21st April 2023 as part of Asadika Amard Maholsav 2.0 in the run-up to the National Panjayat Raj Day 24th April 2023. The award was given to the best performing panchayats by assessing their performance in the attainment of SDGs. These annual awards were first instituted in 2011. The awardee panchayats under various categories of National Panchayat Awards 2023, namely Dean Dayal Ubadhya Panchayat Vigas Puraskar for the performance under individual LSDG themes. Nanaji Deshmukh Sarvotam Panjayat Sadat Vigas Puraskar for the aggregate performance under all nine LSD themes and green initiative related special categories. Gram Ujwal Swaraj Vishesh Panjayat Puraskar Carbon Neutral Vishesh Panjayat Puraskar or other set of awards. Over 30 Indian cities are set to participate in City Nature Challenge, an app-based competition that records observations of nature. Under this initiative, participants can use the iNaturalist app to click and upload a photo of natural flora and fauna. The app uses artificial intelligence to suggest the species name. Community members will collaborate to confirm these suggestions. GPS coordinates for the observations are picked up automatically from the image data. Once an observation is confirmed, it becomes available to scientists and researchers who can use this data to research different plant and animal species or determine the biodiversity in a region. Bombay Natural History Society Worldwide Fund for Nature India and the Naturalist School have partnered to lead this event. The event was first organized in New Year's in 2016 by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles Country and San Francisco California Academy of Sciences. It is a pan-India wildlife research organization that has been promoting the cause of nature conservation since 1883. Its vision is the conservation of nature, primarily biological diversity, through action based on research, education and public awareness. It is the partner of BirdLife International in India. BirdLife International is a global partnership of conservation organizations that strives to conserve birds 
their habitats and global biodiversity. Tribal Affairs Minister recently launched marketing and logistics development for promotion of tribal products from Northeastern Region Scheme in Manipur. It has been introduced for the benefits of scheduled tribes of Northeastern Region to strengthen livelihood opportunities for tribal artisans through increased efficiency in procurement, logistics and marketing of tribal products from northeastern states. It will apply to the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura and Sikkim. As part of the scheme, it is planned to initiate the empanelment of tribal artisans from the northeastern region by organizing 68 tribal artisan melas in various districts of the region. The TAMS will be organized in consultation and support of district administration and other relevant organizations, departments working in the field, etc. The program also includes regular design and skill development training sections tailored to the need of the market for tribal recipients. India's first Vice President and Second President, Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan, died on 17th April 1975. On 22nd April 1969, the formation of Communist Party of India is announced at a mass rally in Calcutta. Recently, the United Planters Association of Southern India said that the tea mosquito bug is affecting tea production in both low and high elevation plantations. It is also known by the name Helopeltis tivora. It is considered to be a serious pest of tea which damage more in most shaded areas. The names and adults of tea mosquito bug suck the sap from the tender leaves, birds and young shoots which results in heavy crop losses. After the formation of PPC, Plant Protection Court of the Tea Board of India in 2014, many pesticides were removed from the approved list of PPC to produce Indian tea safe and free from any harmful pesticides. Currently in the recent PPC version of 14, only 7 pesticides are approved for use in South India. It is grown in tropical and subtropical climates. It requires deep and fertile, well-drained soil rich in humus and organic matter. The tea bushes require a warm and moist, frost-free climate all throughout the year. It requires 20 to 30 degrees Celsius for its growth. It needs 150 to 300 centimeter annual rainfall. The major tea producing states in India are Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, Andhra Pradesh and Tripura. Recently, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India has undertaken to translate food safety and compliance system into Hindi followed by all the regional languages. It is an enhanced version of food licensing and registration system which was launched in 2012 for the issuance of Pan-India FSSAI licenses and registration. It is a comprehensive system for registration and licensing for food business operators. It is one point stop for FBOs for the interface with food safety regulator for all types of compliance. The key facts about Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It is a statutory body established under the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. Yes, yes, Act of 2006 consolidated various acts and orders that had earlier handled food-related issues in various ministries and departments. The nodal ministry is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Some of the other initiatives of FSSAI Heart Attack Rewind It was launched for the elimination of industrial produced trans fat in food supply. It will support FSSAI's global target of eliminating trans fat in India by year 2022. Eat Right Indian Woman 
it is an initiative to transform the country's food system to ensure safe, healthy and sustainable food for all Indians. Indian Space Research Organization successfully launched Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-55, mission carrying two Singaporean satellites from Sadish Dewan Space Center at Sri Harikota on Saturday. PSLV C-55 is a dedicated commercial PSLV mission of New Space India Limited, which is the commercial arm of ISRO for an international satellite customer. In a tweet, the ISRO said in a textbook launch, the Waker plays Singapore's Telios 2 as a primary satellite and Loom Light 4 as a co-passenger satellite precisely into their intended 586km circular orbit. It is the 57th flight of PSLV and the 16th mission of PSLV core alone configuration variant. This is the lightest version of PSLV. Sridhara Panikar Somanath is an Indian aerospace engineer serving as the chairman of Indian Space Research Organization. Somanath served as the director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Trivandrum, and director of Liquid Propulsion System Center, Trivandrum. Somanath is known for his contribution to launch vehicle design, particularly in the areas of launch vehicle system engineering structural design, structural dynamics, and pyrotechnics. He is the recipient of Space Gold Medal from Astronautical Society of India, Team Excellence Award for GSLV MK3 Realization, and the Performance Excellence Award from ISRO. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry will organize the Asia-Specific Leaders Conclave on Malaria Elimination in New Delhi. The conclave will provide a platform for leaders from Asia-Specific region to discuss ongoing efforts towards malaria elimination. The ministry said the conclave aims to reaffirm political commitment to galvanize action for malaria elimination by 2030. India has made remarkable progress towards malaria elimination in recent years and has been appreciated at the global level. Among the 11 countries that are part of World Health Organization's High Burden to High Impact Initiative, only India has reported a decline in malaria cases during the height of COVID-19 pandemic. Malaria cases have dropped by over 85% and deaths also dropped by over 83% from 2015 to 2022. The country has registered a total of 12,193 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. The Union Health Ministry said a total of 10,765 people have been recovered from COVID-19 during the same period. The ministry said currently there are 67,556 active COVID cases in the country and the recovery rate currently stands at 98.66%. It said over 220 crore 66 lakh vaccine doses have been administered across the country so far under nationwide vaccination drive. 